Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at the official stats from Thursday's static fire test, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson's reaction to SpaceX's latest milestone, SpaceX's next mission, and finally, India's first mission of 2023. Here are the official stats from Thursday's 31-engine static fire test. Booster 7 completed a full-duration engine firing of 7 seconds without any anomaly. The Super Heavy booster produced a thrust of little less than half its full power. If we talk with numbers, it produced a total of 7.9 million pounds of thrust by 31 engines together. Each Raptor is capable of producing about half a million pounds of thrust at full capacity. If we take a comparison with a Falcon 9 rocket, the thrust produced by Booster 7 is equivalent to more than four Falcon 9 rockets and a little less than SLS's total thrust capacity. Isn't that number crazy? It was not even half its full power. Can you imagine the shock waves from Starship lifting off from the pad at full throttle? Reacting to the static fire test, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson applauds SpaceX's latest milestone in the Starship program. In a Twitter post, he expressed his excitement over the static fire test. He also highlighted the importance of Starship and SpaceX as an integral part of NASA for its Moon and Mars missions. New possible road closure schedules are posted starting from Monday through Wednesday. It's unclear if it is for Booster or S25's testing. Tonight after midnight at 12.10 Eastern Time, SpaceX will be targeting to launch its 10th mission of the year. Another batch of 55 Starlink satellites is ready for liftoff atop a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC-40 at Cape. The first stage booster for this mission B-1062 will be on its 12th flight. You can come and enjoy the launch live here on this channel. India launched its first mission of the year yesterday, February 10, on its latest and smallest commercial rocket, SSLV. The small satellite launch vehicle made its debut flight last year in August, but the payloads failed to reach orbit due to a faulty sensor, ending the mission in failure. But in a five months turnaround time, they fixed the issues and successfully launched the SSLV D2 mission with three payloads on board. India has made significant strides in the space industry and has established itself as a major player in the global space community. With successful missions such as Chandrayaan and Mars Orbiter mission and a rapidly growing commercial satellite launch market, India is becoming a hub for affordable and reliable space technology. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.